What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a bit of a discussion video to be bringing you guys. This time I actually want to talk about my thoughts and opinions revolving around the Golden State Warriors in this season and whether or not I think they can potentially win the 2022 NBA Championship. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I think a couple of the points that I wanted to talk about with this is there's a couple of things that come into it. First of all, how does the rookies perform, you know, for Golden State this season? Does Kaminga play well? Does Moody play well? That's one big thing that I'm going to be talking about. The other thing is, does James Wiseman develop this season? His development is absolutely crucial for them, and that's another thing I'll be talking about. Third thing is, can Steph Curry take it up to that MVP kind of next level notch? And the fourth thing, and the first thing that I'll actually be talking about is actually Clay Thompson, whether or not Clay Thompson can stay healthy this season, because I think a lot of the success might actually kind of come onto that. Another bonus thing of I remember is, will Andrew Wiggins get traded? What's going on with the COVID thing? I guess we'll, uh, we'll see if I remember that. But Clay Thompson, the big thing going around with Clay Thompson right now is, again, he is a multiple-time All-Star, a dude that just came off an Achilles injury. He just came off an ACL injury. A guy who is not expected to come in and really do a whole lot in his season coming back. In my opinion, though, he usually average, uh, averages around 23 points per game. Uh, you know, in his whole entire couple of years with the Golden State Warriors, in the last couple of years, rather. In my opinion, I don't think we will see that. I think Clay Thompson might actually average around 15 to 18 points. I think expecting anything more than him you know, would actually just be cruel, considering the injuries this guy has had. Like, we look at Gordon Haywood. He went from averaging 18 points to 11 points, I believe it was, in his comeback year. Don't expect Clay Thompson to average 23 points this season. He Look, maybe he might not even average 15 points, but I think Clay Thompson is being a dude that relies on his shooting that much and not necessarily, you know, a, a dude that has to create his own shot all the time. I think we'll find it a bit easier than Gordon Haywood to maybe shoot threes and do this and that. So I believe Clay Thompson will come back alright. I think you take 15 points per game from him. I think that would be alright. 15, 18 points. As long as he can still play some maybe nice perimeter defense, it will be a massive upgrade than Kent Bazemore, who was only averaging 9 points at that shooting guard position. You pretty much bring in a dude like Bazemore, will trade rather, a dude like Bazemore who was averaging 9 points, uh, an okay defense I suppose, for a dude like Clay Thompson who will average maybe 15 to 18 points, very good 3 point percentage at least I hope, and some good defense here and there. So Clay Thompson, he will be crucial in the Golden State Warriors this year, if he gets injured, touch wood he doesn't, you know I really hope that he doesn't at all, in fact right now I'm, I'm standing up and I'm going and touching the cabinet that's right next to me that's made out of wood because I really hope Clay Thompson doesn't get injured this season, I think he's crucial for the Golden State Warriors if they want to succeed. The other thing is, they're rookies, can their rookies perform this year? In my opinion I don't think Kaminga will, I think Kaminga is a dude that relies on his athleticism a lot more, he's not a, that good of a shooter. I think he's going to find it very hard to come into the NBA because, again, when when he's like that, it's going to be really hard to score on, like, elite centers at the start because that's what he's going to have to do. You know, he's going to be one of those guys that gets into the paint and just scores, you know, really a, a giant slayer is what he's going to have to be because he's not that good of a shooter. If he develops a mid-range or a three-point shot this year, he'll be fine. Will that happen? I'm not exactly too sure, but in my opinion, I don't think he'll be that good in his first season. While Moses Moody's, uh, you know, I think he'll just be like a role player for this team. A backup shooting guard that might be a nice three-point shooter. Who knows? Could average around uh, maybe like eight points per game or something off the bench. I'm not exactly too sure. That might be a stretch or maybe it's too low. I'm not exactly too sure. I haven't really seen much of Moses Moody and Kaminga yet, but I do know Kaminga actually did all right in the summer league. I'm just not exactly too confident that that will translate over to the NBA against centers like Jarrett Allen, uh, Joel Embiid, and Rudy Gobert. It's going to be a thing that Jonathan Kaminga is going to have to adjust to, and I think it will take quite a bit of time. The other thing is James Wiseman. James Wiseman and his develop. Will he develop to be a much better player? If you're hoping on me to crap on James Wiseman, this isn't the video for you. James Wiseman... 
I think we'll have an outstanding second season in the NBA. And what's my kind of backup to say he'll have an outstanding season? Look at Darius Garland. Darius Garland for the Cleveland Cavaliers was drafted at pick five, basically came from high school to the NBA because he was injured a lot and actually only played like five games in college and decided to do season ending surgery. He pretty much jumped straight from high school to the NBA. Uh, he was called a bust in his first season. People were saying he was the biggest bust in his draft class. People were saying he was the worst player in the game. And then in his second season, when he actually had some NBA time under his belt, he came out and averaged like 17 and 6. Looks like the future of Cleveland. Probably the most underrated player in the game. Looks like he could legitimately be a very, very good player in the future. And I'm so excited to see what he can do this season. James Wiseman will be a dude that I think will follow like a similar storyline. Bad first year, kind of jumped from high school to the NBA. He only played three games in college because I believe he got suspended. Uh, don't really know why, can't even remember. Um, probably not something I want to get into in this video anyway. But hey, he got suspended, I believe. Uh, jumped straight from high school to the NBA pretty much. And then again, struggled in his first season. If we've learned anything from Darius Garland, it's to not judge a player too soon. Because, again, look at all the people kind of have to bite back their tongue. Especially the people that said Kobe White was going to be better than Darius Garland. Those are the people that are also saying James Wiseman is going to be a bust. And I hope he's not. Whether or not you think James Wiseman was the right pick for the Golden State Warriors at 2 or not, doesn't matter to anything I'm saying right now. I think James Wiseman will have a good second season, and one of the reasons why the Golden State Warriors can win the championship. Plus, he'll be playing a very similar role, I suppose, to what Andrew Bogut did for the Warriors, but again, a much better scorer, and maybe could develop into being a better defender one day. Who even knows? Then the other thing that we kind of look at, you know, right now, is can Steph Curry take his season to being like an MVP candidate? Considering Steph Curry missed a whole entire year, pretty much, with a bunch of injuries, then this season was kind of his comeback year, and he did what he did this year, I can only imagine what he's going to do in his second year as, uh, on his comeback. This dude's going to be absolutely insane. Plus, his team is a lot better. He's not going to be getting tag team, you know, double team, uh, double team and triple team as much. Now that Clay Thompson's in the team, and now that they've got a couple more better players like Otto Porter, this dude is definitely not going to be getting doubled as much at all. I could definitely see, you know, something happening where, who knows, maybe he has an MVP type season. What would he have to do to kind of, you know, make this happen? Um, well, yeah, he'd have to just hope that he doesn't get double teamed and triple teamed as much. That would be a, a pretty big issue if it was. He probably might not play a super, you know, a lot better, but I still think he'll have a really, really good season. We'll play Thompson coming back. I think he'll be relaxed knowing that maybe some of those double teams might, again, go to him. But again, of course, touch wood uh, that Clay Thompson, uh, you know, comes back from his injury and actually plays some relatively good basketball here and there. Uh, the other thing is Andrew Wiggins. Uh, they, he needs to play for them to win the championship. Uh, if he doesn't play because of this whole COVID vaccine thing, they're not going to win the championship. He's a very important part of their team. When Steph Curry wasn't getting double teamed last season, it was when Andrew Wiggins was going off. And Andrew Wiggins actually had his first pretty much only consistent year ever. He's always had years where he's inconsistent, plays good one game and doesn't play good the next game. Every single game Wiggins played this year, he played pretty good. For the most part this year, he averaged around 19 points per game. Uh, of course, very good defense and his three-point percentage was actually pretty good as well this season. Uh, the other thing is, I just feel like he needs to have at least one or two games more every now and then where he goes off. You know, actually has a game where he scores maybe 30 points or something like that for the Golden State Warriors to be successful. But for them to really win the championship, he, he does need to play and he needs to be healthy. But yeah, if he doesn't, I can't see how the Warriors would win it because there are so many teams with so many stars right now in the league. And because it's only Clay Thompson's comeback year, I don't think he'll have like a star-studded season like... Some people, for some reason, think he will. I think it will definitely take some time for him to come back and, you know, get adjusted to the NBA now. And I guess, you know, really hope that his body stays right. So, yeah, Wiggins needs to play uh, unless they just trade him for someone else, which 
probably won't happen unless an elite small forward comes out on the market somewhere, which I'm not too sure who that would be, but hey, maybe it does happen eventually. Um, but of course, the, to answer the question, can the Golden State Warriors win the championship? In my opinion, they can. I definitely think the Warriors can win the championship, but I don't think they will because I still think you need to give Clay Thompson another year to kind of get back into it. Plus, they're still, you know, developing their bench and still developing a couple of these young guys. I think you need another year for Clay Thompson to come back and hopefully be healthy. And, of course, another year maybe put into James Wiseman, Kaminga, and Moody, and Paul's development. So, again, there's a lot of young players on this team. But, yes, they can win the championship. Do I think they will? I don't think so. I still think the Lakers, Nets, the Bucks, uh, Clippers... And a couple other teams potentially here and there might be, of course, ahead of the Golden State Warriors. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRO slash long channels uh, if you haven't already. Don't forget to, you know, check out my podcast channel, which I've recently just made as well, which I will all be linking in the description down below if you haven't already gone and checked them out. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my sports channel, which is this one for all the latest sports content and news. Comment your thoughts and opinions. Can the Golden State Warriors win the championship? Of course, I would definitely like to know. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA content and NBA news. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.